Hello, I'm Howard Bushart, and I'm an EDD candidate in the Educational Leadership and Management Program at Capella University. I'd like to welcome you to my EDD ePortfolio, uh, which documents my progress through the course of my studies from novice to expert. My educational background is a bit erratic. As a child of the 60s, I sort of dropped in and out of school between 1967 and 1970. Uh, I did manage to get a GED in 1971 and filled out an application to attend South Texas College, uh, but I never actually got around to enrolling. You might say I'm a light bloomer, as much as I didn't start college until I was 32 years old, and between the time I got my GED and the time I started high school, I had sort of a checkered uh, occupational path. I was a fitter, boilermaker, welder. Uh, and about anything else that needed doing on a construction job. Um, but uh, I, uh, I did have a job once as a stunt driver in the made-for-TV film When Cars Attack. I always wanted to put that on a resume. Uh, and somewhere along the line I got married and started a family. My marriage ended around the time that my college career uh, began. I earned an AA degree in General Studies from San Jacinto College South in Houston, Texas uh, in 1988, a BA degree in Literature from the University of Houston Clear Lake in 91, and a Master's degree in the University of Houston Clear Lake in Literature as well in 1993. I studied Addiction Sciences at the University of Houston Central Campus and I am a licensed Chemical Dependency Counselor in the state of Texas. In 1990, I began teaching in the uh, Allied Health Program and the Addiction Studies Program there uh, at Lee College, and uh, I've been there ever since. Uh, and for the past seven years or so, I've been the uh, chairman of the Allied Health Division. Creative writing and literature are still my first academic loves, and I remain true to them even through my little educational hiatus between the GED and college. Uh, because I continued to read, write, and study. I've written uh, uh, copy, articles, published poetry, uh, essays, screenplays, unpublished novels, uh, short stories, and was the principal author in the uh, nonfiction book Soldiers of God, White Supremacists and Their Holy War for America, uh, first published by Kensington in 1998. Uh, that was particularly scary because uh, I had to spend a good deal of time with Klansmen and with uh, skinheads and other radicals. Uh, fortunately, my co-author, Dr. My Myra Barnes, uh, an English teacher with the soul of a gun mall, kind of helped me get through it. I'm particularly proud of Soldiers of God and uh, the fact that it uh, went through three printings and received good reviews, uh, but more so because uh, it's been on the reading list in uh, sociology courses, comparative uh, uh, religious courses at university, social problems courses. It's um, a pretty good feeling to contribute to the collective knowledge. I became interested in filmmaking around this time as, as well, and I worked on a number of documentary films uh, that, uh, such as uh, uh, Ferret 101 about uh, the care and use of the British light tank, the ferret. Uh, and I also uh, put together a film called The War of Eden uh, that featured uh, uh, some of the same subjects that I worked with in Soldiers of God. And that was a film that I did for a training with uh, the Texas Association of Hostage Negotiators so they were prepared if they ran up uh, against another Waco. My wife Janice and I live in Seabrook, Texas, a small town south of Houston on Galveston Bay with our grandson Cole. Our house is usually full of other grandchildren too and uh, we had a new addition just last month. Being a granddad uh, really appeals to me, and I hear something I'm pretty good at. I certainly enjoy it. My role as a teacher is one that I'm fairly comfortable with. I enjoy being in the classroom, whether it's at the front of the class giving a lecture or sitting in the back taking notes. Uh, I haven't always been able to say that about chairing the division, however. 
The motivation for my studies at Capella University uh, are primarily to help me become a better leader of the division uh, as well as a better teacher. I believe my portfolio will uh, demonstrate both growth and competence through the learning outcomes. It's organized in an easy to follow series of outcome folders containing examples of scholarly work, identifying and addressing competency gaps, providing evidence of improvement, and documenting activities intended to improve my performance as an educator, manager, and leader. I thank you for your interest uh, in uh, my work and for visiting my EDD ePortfolio. Good night.